<laughs> Do you see that note up there? Earth round. <laughs> awesome. It's just a video on round earth. Sheesh. <laughs> Alright guys. From consciousazine.net Productions. Arc on virtual realities. And then I just saw this video and thought, oh, it's just belated. Similar energy. So, I was going to do like a big summarization. So let's say, like, oh, do we do it? Yeah, we do it both in one. Because look, I even had it as the second half of the video. All right. Let's do it. So I did have a previous note here, what you're seeing for a video title. These are all video titles of videos that I make. So Organic Portal Energy Wasters, Archon Virtual Realities, and I just wanted to just talk about the spur of the moment. I was just thinking about it. Because I think some people still don't get it. Judging by the views on YouTube, I'm e exactly correct. <laughs> Because, you know, Goku, yeah, we all know Dragon Ball Z and Goku. Guess what? The guess! He lost like 20 kilograms. Wow. <laughs> you know, game fights with 4 million views, 10, you know, you got, I don't want to say any famous games to get any haters. <laughs> 10 times Hulk proved he is not human. Oh, wait a minute, he's a cartoon character, and he's not human. <sighs> 15 million views in like a week. <laughs> you know, and then I was watching a, a North Korean... Uh, North Korean documentary. And in that it said about the North Korea statues. I think I spelt statues way wrong. <laughs> Right, I think, anyway, uh, about the statues of, like, uh, the leaders, you know, their supreme leaders. Koreans living outside North Korea were asked to donate $150 to the $10 million statue, the second supreme leader statue, and there's no internet there. <clears throat> so, that was a good... That was a good talking point I wanted to talk about, that there's no internet uh, in North Korea. Um, they don't go outside of the country with their phone. I've seen them sneak in, like, DVDs of, you know, maybe a, a blockbuster movie or something. Maybe Bollywood, I don't know. Uh, but the point is, like, it's a very virtual reality. That whole country, or the north part of Korea, I haven't studied North Korea and South Korea in like as deep as you ever could, but just even at a glance, even from this information, you can already see it. It's like a virtual reality, plus there's tribute there, the constant tribute thing. And you know, it's kind of the general idea, kind of an undertone of what uh, communism and dictatorship, you know, and demagogism and stuff like that. So those, you know, they are real systems that exist in our so-called democracy, so anyway. But, you know, Goku, don't forget he lost 20 kilograms. Save that in your memory. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is creating, like, these are very literal examples, very literal. But the idea of why well, I just wrote this up, you know, five minutes ago and was going to start talking about this, just... Then I remembered all. Oh, I was going to shoot this video last week, but just I procrastinated on it. <clears throat> the reason I was going to shoot this, like just titled that, and, and not titled Organic Portal Energy Wasters, was um, for just more sly examples. And that's what I want to bring the tone to now. So we'll go up here. <laughs> Two videos in one, hit the like, ah, oh, marvellous, anyway, so you've got, you know, all the examples I just gave you, yeah, very, very obvious, right, very stark, very obvious, now, 
the reason I came here today was to talk about this part, and I'm changing the tone here, and I laugh a bit, but <clears throat> it's very serious, because I came here with an annoyed tone of people still aren't getting it. And I was going to call it Archon Virtual Realities, I still think you're not getting it. And here's some great examples, in case you dissonanced just while I was talking. You had a cognitive dissonance right then, go back to the examples, they are great examples. <laughs> the Hulk, you know, from movies and cartoons, you know that guy, the Incredible Green Hulk, I'm sure you've heard of it. He's not human, so who cares about ten times he proved he's not human. You know what I mean? Now, yeah, there's a lot of kids on YouTube, and there's some, like, kid examples, but then I gave an adult example here, too, down the bottom, in case you're triple dissonancing on me. Get out of the dissonance of the cognitive sort, please. So, we got the arc on virtual realities, and what I wanted to talk about was, I think you're still not getting it. Here's some good examples. Honestly. It's that bad, I have to repeat it. And I still think people are not getting the Archon Virtual Realities. It's like this. It's in this deep. Not just as shallow as the examples down here, but what I'm about to say. This is how deep it is. It, it's like... Well, again, you could go back to the examples and say, you know, you're wasting your time. Energy wasting. Right? <clears throat> and that's what organic portals... Do I don't want to say it's their functionality, but that is the part that is the virus part that is a surface virus that is um, causing status quo, stagnation, you know, those sorts of ideas and stabilization, but over over stabilization too much stabilization. You see, organic portals may have a stabilization functionality for the morphogenic field of any species, including animals doesn't mean every animal is an organic portal, it means that there's going to be an entropical field of sold potential animal in the squirrel range, or the dog, or the cat, whatever have you, and there's also going to be a stabilization of the morphogenic field called organic portals. And then you're going to have a whole lot of people or the species acting like organic portals, and others being, you know, entropical field, the field of entropy of choice and not a sold positive vectorized human but just still potential in the vector in not into the vector but into to entropy like the choice and possibility but then no real vectorization um, being taken and the organic portal is you know the stabilization function but then you have negative sold humans and inured sold humans who are inured to the system and fight to protect the organic portal system and ways you know and you have you know the archons like which are being called out as you know sort of leaders and they'll always be i noticed in high management positions in corporations and in power positions so i just want to talk about how they're giving you virtual realities forget these examples which were good but think about your everyday life now. That's where I wanted to bring this. I'm just gonna have a breather while you think about it. Um, ah, ah. Um, ah. <clears throat> beautiful it's raining here so did you think about how archons are creating virtual realities for you in your everyday life um, well the fact that you think that you have to have a corporate job in a city and you've got the whole rush to the city that is a virtual reality how so Benjamin Kallenberg from consciousazine.net let me take a minute to advertise well, donate more and I'll advertise less. Um, well, how so? Is that a virtual reality of, you know, the rush to the city and stuff? Well, it's a dead resonant zone, so it's definitely desouling you. Nobody's walking around unless they're fully billionaire style. All the rich people walk around quite happy, but everyone else isn't. <laughs> so, you know, and less expression, 
why do you even go to the rave in the woods if I'm wrong? Anyway, so there's virtual realities created on all levels because we don't live in a scarce universe. There is no scarcity. There is no such thing as scarcity. Maybe as an asymptotic sense and concrescent sense, sense yes. And of course then you'll get that played out in minerals. There's less minerals of, you know, a certain type of mineral. Whether there's less platinum or less silver than gold in the world or something. For instance. Um, but the point is, that's in our one planet. And my point is that, you know, there's even a whole planet made of diamond. Planet Lucy, I think they call it. And I always use that example just because, well, everyone goes on about diamonds. Oh, look, this little diamond is worth this many billions of dollars or million dollars. And, you know, diamonds are a woman's best friend and all this business. So I always use the, the Planet Lucy example because it's a whole planet and it just shows you that it's not rare. Or it's not as rare as maybe you think it is in your closed down little virtual reality. Do you see it now? Now everybody's trapped in these little virtual realities and it really pisses me off. I mean, yeah, I, I'm sure I'm trapped in some too, but I definitely didn't come here like that. And what I'm saying is we need to change that so that you don't come into this place. Because soon we're going to have, you know, the actual virtual reality manifest as, uh, you know, a thing made out of stuff, like an actual helmet you wear. And then when I'm looking at you, you're in the game, in your little virtual reality. So, I mean, that's why I made a video... You know, is anyone going to look after nature anymore? Is this the end of biological nature? Are we going into just endless kaleidoscopic virtual archonic realities where you're completely mind controlled? Because that's the way it looks from here. Now the year is 2019 and I think the way it looks from here like that is just because we're looking in the dark tunnel. But after this dark tunnel we'll use it all for good, you know. And hopefully my video is part of that. Because Archons create virtual realities and that's a, a resonance of an Archon. Just like for an Octurian, or I'll say it like this, all ag algorithmic nature is Octurian. All virtual reality nature is Archon. These are Dracos, they're not reptilians that bounce off the walls at night in the 4D space. Okay? So they are different to reptiles and reptilians, uh, fourth dimensional entities. <clears throat> Their higher archons are also eighth dimensional like uh, Octurians. But they're like bad guys and Octurians are like the good guys. The proper Octurians, not the little grey alien hybrid Octurians. They're not good. I've already made a video about those. So, just like Platinum Ray to be Platinum, that energy, like you'll see that on the catwalk for instance, that's a Pleiadian energy, I can sometimes get that out, there's seven energies, main energies of the Pleiades, then there's, you know, Chi and, and Mind Melding, these are, these are Syrian energies and if you're talking about war, Aldebron is always involved in war, whether it was World War One, World War Two, Afghan War, Iran War, whatever war, Aldebron is always involved. So different stars have different energies, but these stars are associated with um, energetic beingness, right? And Archons are another type of energetic beingness, or higher dimensional entity, you might say. So, they are always related to virtual realities for enslavement purpose. So if it's a friendly virtual reality, you'd better check twice. But, yeah, then, you know, virtual realities can be good or helpful. That sounds the rain.
But hey, we don't have all the time in the world. We have no time at all. So what I was saying was that uh, virtual realities could be good, for instance, if you go in and uh, you go into a virtual reality to test a new bomb or to do a science experiment that might blow up or here, here we go, the actual future, to do some real alchemy, you know, and mixing elements and something might explode. Well, then you do it in the virtual reality first and you test to make the virtual reality as real as um, we know the chemical reactions so far, everything we know about them here in this, you know, physical plane. Um, one second. <coughs> I had to take care of something, sorry. Um, so, you know, all these people seem to be going through a, a place where they think they have to go to the city and we're forgetting the abundance of nature. Now, there is that whole concrescence which pulls you there. For instance, um, toilet paper. There's a simple example, you know. Out in nature, the leaves or the bark's a bit rougher, you know, than toilet paper in the city, for instance. So yeah, there's concrescences in the cities and it goes with, you know, being more godlike, you know, also cleanliness next to godliness and, you know, and, and having, wielding more power and there's lots of god aspects to why people are moving to the city. But I'm trying to explain the negative parts and in the way of our mind and our compromised mind where we think the scarcity, for instance, but you didn't even bother to learn any of the plants that you can eat. You probably just walked and stepped over the dandelion, and then they're being sold in the shops a decade later. You know? <laughs> so we create our own virtual realities as well. But what I'm trying to steer you towards is looking at the Archon virtual realities in your life and they're always in like a way they want you to believe and see outside of yourself and ask outside of yourself and seek outside of yourself that's what the Archon virtual realities do they make you seek outside yourself a lot and they make you question yourself it's always trying to make you use the compromised mind for instance, the idea that the universe is not abundant, that it's scarcity, like we have a scarcity-based economic system, for instance, just, just happens to be that way, does it? Well, it's an abundant universe, you know, so it's a virtual reality. And these virtual realities are echoed like crazy through culture. Like culture is some kind of mass hallucination or virtual reality itself. $20 million club, this is what A-listers do. Pretty sure that that's The Rock and Kevin Hart there, and they look to be kissing. So that looks like more, you know, wasted energy. Gambling is America's number one money-making business, with an estimated profit of an incredible $6 billion. Even more startling is the fact that these profits exceed those of the 100 largest manufacturing concerns in the United States.